arrived in Tenement Square. That's Chairman Mao's mausoleum. This is the memorial to the people's heroes. Behind is the other you know, political buildings. Uh, that's the Forbidden City over there. And here is the National Museum of China. And this square holds, or is capable of holding, one million people. There's a display of fountain. Massive lantern in the middle of the square. This is the entrance to Forbidden City, and the nice photograph there of Chairman Mao. Looking over of us. And all the way down this road are some fountains which every now and then put on a big display to some kind of martial music, which is pretty impressive. I thought all the displays are quite magnificent, uh, but especially for the, the annual holiday, uh, they won't be here all the time. They really are superb. Assembly building. This is the memorial to national heroes. Everybody who died in the wars, whether civilian or military. The biggest assembly hall in China. This is the biggest assembly hall in China. Uh, and on the right hand side, as I look at it, is a uh, banqueting hall for about 5,000 where heads of state are entertained. And on the left hand side, as I look at it, is a sort of national assembly. It's uh, where Congress sits. And, uh, Tourists are not allowed in these places. But it's a massive building, as you can see. You see little figures sitting at the front there. Just to give you some idea of the scale, there's, there's some blokes sitting there. <laughs> So 
of these people are queuing to go in to see Mo and his crystal coffin. Uh, today it's quite quiet, but yesterday, or during the holiday, you could wait for three hours and you were only in there for about two minutes as they moved you along. So there it is, the big man's mausoleum, uh, which has produced the People's Republic of China.